Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to tell if your fruit tree is alive after a hard freeze, so stay tuned. So as people know all around the country right now, we just had a crazy winter storm. I'm in zone seven, teetering on zone six, and it got all the way down to negative 15 degrees here. That's unprecedented. That's almost a record low for the area that I live in. And so a big concern with a lot of people right now is, are my fruit trees alive? Are my trees alive? How do I tell? And so I wanna go over that really quick with you, and it's very easy. Now, if you can see here, this is a, this is a Pakistan mulberry. This is a zone seven fruit tree. That's as cold as it can take it. It's what it says online anyway. Well, it just survived negative 15 degrees and we did wrap it a little bit, but nothing too fancy. I mean, we just took a cheap tarp from Walmart and wrapped it around here and then just put a trash bag over the top of that to keep it dry, to keep that water from seeping in there. And it survived. It survived negative 15 degree weather for eight hours straight and the high that day was three degrees and then it went right back into the negatives again, not negative 15, but back into the negatives. It's still unprecedented temperatures here in zone seven. And it came through the temperatures. I couldn't even believe it. It did really well, but if you come in close here, I'll show you how you can actually tell. If you just scratch the bark a little bit there, you can see that green. And that's a very good sign that your fruit tree is still alive, it's still doing well. And you're gonna to wanna to wait a few days after it freezes because the tree's gonna be frozen and it'll still have that green there. So you really need to wait until the, the fruit tree thaws out to be able to tell whether it's still alive or not. Because usually after you give it a few days and then the temperatures raise back up again, you'll be able to tell. It's gonna be brown in there. There's gonna be no green cambium layer. Um, I actually have a perfect example. If you walk over here to the pomegranates, Unfortunately, these pomegranate trees did not make it, but if you come in close, I'll show you. When I scratch there, look at that. There's no green in that at all. These trees are as dead as a doornail. I mean, there's no bringing these back. They might be alive, you know, down here, but is it really worth it for me? I don't know, that's a decision you have to make for yourself. Is it gonna be worth waiting for these trees to grow back again like that? Um, for me, no, I'm just gonna pull it out of the ground and replant it with something because I stress out way too much whenever it gets cold like that. And it only happens like, I mean, it's only happened once before in Arkansas history. So um, I just don't wanna stress out about it anymore during the winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this guy. And I've actually, I had another pomegranate on the other side of this garden and I already did replace that with another fruit tree. I don't waste any time. I like to buy fruit trees anyway, so. Um, but that's an easy way to tell if your fruit tree is still alive and you can tell on any tree like that. Um, it's gonna have that green cambium layer. If that green cambium layer is gone, then your tree is probably gone. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys like this video, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and share with any of your friends who might need this information. Thanks for watching.